Hey, good afternoon, to dear Sir Chairperson and all the participants. My name is SS Francis Monsang, and I'm so happy to be part of this Series 31 Conference 2022. Today, I will be presenting on the topic negation in Monsang, and the paper is co authored with Rajesh Kumar. We are from the Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, Chennai, India. And here are the contents of my pre presentation. In the number uh, section one, I'll give a brief introduction of my presentation. And in section two, I'll give the methodology. In section three, I'll provide the negative markers in Mongsang. In section four, I'll give the cons negative constructions in Mongsang. In section five, I will look into the distribution of negation in various constructions. In section six, I will present the constituent and sentential negation in Monsang. And in seventh, I will conclude my presentation. Introduction. The goal of the study is to describe two types of negation, that is sentential and constituent negation in Monsang. To do so, we first provide a detailed description of negation and then describe the two types of negations, uh, namely the sentential negation and constituent negation. Mongsang is a Northwestern language within the South Central branch of the Chibito Burman family, taken from Kona 2018. Mongsang's community is spread in six villages of the Chandel district of Manipur, which is in the Northeastern part of India. Mongsang speakers are found in six villages and they are marked with six different colors. This figure one, so it's the map of Manipur state showing Mongsang villages in Chandal district. And this is the Chandal district. And this map is Manipur state map, which is in the northeastern part of India. Methodology. The data mostly come from the first author based on his native speaker knowledge of the language. The data were verified for acceptability with the native speakers. Some are from the occasional conversation of the native speakers of Mosampanta village. For such, the data source is given to the right of the example. The data were transcribed and analyzed within the goal of the study. The negative markers. Mongsang has three negative markers, ma, me, and a. Uh. The negative marker, <clears throat> ma, is the most common way of expressing negation and so appears in all construction. Whereas the ne negative marker may appears only in post-verbal subject agreement construction when the subject is third person singular. The reason is because in, uh, in post-verbal subject agreement construction, the third person does not have agreement, agreement marker and it is in such instances that the negative marker may can appear. Note that Mongsang has both pre-verbal and post-verbal subject agreement markers. The negative particle a uh, is frequently used in yes-no questions. Negative construction. There are two ways of constructing negative transitive sentence in by employing the same negative marker. The first is by using pre-verbal subject agreement marker as shown in 1A and B. We see Asama, Kisama, I did not eat mango, he did not eat mango. And the second is with the use of post verbal subject agreement marker, I did not eat mango, the same as English sentence, but with the post verbal agreement in Monsa. And in 1D, we see that the marker may appears in post verbal construction when the subject is third person singular. Mongsang also allows two types of negative intransitive sentence construction. One is with the non-nominalized verb as in 2A and B. Sima, Sima, Sime, I did not go to. The other is with nominalized verb in 2C. Isima, the nominalized marker is a, isima. Even here, the negative marker ma is the common way to convey negation. Whereas the, the other negative marker is used 
only with third person singular in non nominalized verb as in to be. Me. Distribution of negation. First, we shall look in, in the negation in non verbal predicate. In the negation of a non verbal predicate, the negative marker ma occurs as a negative word and follows the noun. Negation in non future. Mongsang does not have a marker to distinguish between the past and the present. However, Mongsang has a marker. A future marker, and so we can make a distinction between non-future and future sentence. However, the the absence of future marker is understood as non-future sentence in Mongsan. Example four is an example is instance of non-future sentence. I did not eat fish. Kunga samang, samaka. Negation in future. In Mongsan, the future markers are va and wang. The marker one occurs with subject agreement and va occurs in the absence of subject agreement. And the future markers are not realized in the negative future sentence as we see in C and D. There is no future marker when future sentence are negative. And the subject takes post, takes a post verbal subject agreement marker in C and D example. However, in the negative future continuous sentence, Mongsan permits the occurrence of both future marker and negative marker. The negative marker is suffixed to the verb and precedes the future marker. In such instance, the agreement manifested is pre verbal subject agreement marker. And we have we see the negative marker and agreement marker occur together in the sentence, in the negation of future sentence. Negative negation and aspect. First, in the negation of simple aspect, the negative mark occurs as suffix to the verb. However, however, in the negation of habitual aspect, the negative marker is incorporated between the verb and the habitual marker. As we see in example 7a and 7b. The progressive aspect marker in Mongsang is Naze. However, the progressive marker is not realized in the negative sentence, as shown in example B and C. Kisamaka Samang. In the negation of progressive aspect, the progressive marker does not come. Mongsang has two perfective markers, P and C. P marks an action that is completed, same marks an action that has been carried out. And in the interaction of negation and perfective aspect, the perfective aspect is not realized as we see in the example 9b and 10b. And in the negation of perfective aspect, the adverb form is yet occurs after the negative marker to show that an action has not been, is not yet completed or not yet carried out. Negation and mood. The imperative marker is raw for singular and raw for plural. And in the negation, the negative marker is incorporated between the verb and the negative imperative marker. So also in the negation of optative mood, the negative marker is incorporated between the verb and the optative and precedes the optative marker. In the negation of modal sentence, or in the interaction of negation and modal verbs, the negative marker is suffixed to the modal verbs and not to the main verb as we see in example 13. Negation is suffixed to the model J, J mao, name. The negative particle O is found in the negation of yes and no question. 
Example 14b is a negative sentence exhibiting the use of negative particle or and negates the yes and no question in 14a. Or, go as a dong sama. No, I do not do anything. Sentential and constituent negation. Languages usually make a distinction between sentential and constituent negation. And this distinction can be traced back to Clement 1964. The distinction is mainly due to the scope of the negative operator in just 2004. If the whole proportion falls within the scope of the negative element, it is understood as sentential negation. However, if only a constituent in a clause is negated and falls within the scope of negation, then it is a constituent negation. Indeed, languages differ in how they position the negative elements and the scope they take. According to Laka 1990 in Basque, sentential negation occurs before the inflected auxiliary that comes before the lexical verb and negates the entire sentence as shown in 15a. Whereas in constituent negation, as in 15b, negative marker precedes the constituent it has scope over. Kumar 2006 mentions that in Hindi, the preverbal position of negative marker takes scope over the entire sentence, as in 16a. Whereas any other position, such as when negative marker does not precede, like 16b, or negative marker immediately follows the constant they negate or perhaps stressing the focus constituent as instances of constituent negation in Hindi. Mungsang also exhibits two types of negation, sentential and constituent negation. In Mungsang, when a constituent is to be negated, the negative morpheme, which serves as a negative word, is placed immediately after that specific constituent it negates. Hence, only that constituent is within the scope of negation. For instance, in 17a and b, Kimanuma, not my mother. Mother is negated. In b, Tima moing atuka, sister T is negated. Constituent negation is also found in the negation of nonverbal predicate and negation of gerund construction. In nonverbal predicate, the negation of nonverbal predicate is an instance of constituent negation as the negative word occurs immediately after the constituent and negates only that constituent in Mungsa. And the mark and the negation used for uh, negating the constituent negation is ma. In 18, Amaso Momo marker. That is not Momo. Could be somebody else. And Jaran construction. The negation of Jaran construction is another instance of constituent negation in Monsa. We see in example 19, Isimang Tane. Not going is better. Not going is negated. Hence, from the example 18 and 19, we observe that the constituent negation in Mongsa is NP neg. Constituent followed by negative marker or negative word. This order in which the negative word immediately follows the constituent that it is negating ensures that there is no ambiguity in the interpretation of the clause. Sentential negation. Sentential negation is about a negation of the entire proposition. Hence, negation has scope over the entire clause. In Monsang, when negative marker occurs after the main verb as suffix to the verb, it is an instance of sentential negation. And the other is V neg. In such position, the negative marker negates the whole constituent in the clause 
and the negative element has scope over the entire clause. In both uh, in sentence negation, both the negative markers ma and me can occur to negate the sentence. Example 20 A and B demonstrates this. Simang, Kukitharta Simang, a person ma basting ma. Negation in various constructions uh, given in the previous slides, like uh, negation of non-future, future aspect, mood, model, are all instances uh, are all instances of sentation negation in Munsa. Now I will provide evidence to establish post verbal position as sentation negation. The first evidence of negative markers in post verbal position are sentation negation in Mong Sang comes from NPI licensing of negative by negative markers. In Mong Sang, NPIs like Atsuro, Atsudong are licensed only by the presence of negation in a sentence. In such instances, the negative marker, which occur post verbally, are sentential negative which license the NPI, as in 21A, I did not see anyone. While constituent negation cannot license NPI, as in 2B, if negation were to be here, cannot license the NPI. Quantifier scope. When negation occurs as post-verbal in quantifier construction, the negative marker has scope over the quantifier. Such sentence has two possible reading as in 22A. A. The first reading is Momo did not call everybody in general, but he has called few selected people. The second reading is that Momo does not want to call some people with a particular person in mind. Whereas uh, the same sentence is not ambiguous in the context of constituent negation in 22b, and it has only one reading. Others may call everybody, but for Momo, he did not call everybody. Thus, negative markers in post verbal position are sentation negation, as it can license NPIs, and has scope over the quantifiers. Conclusion, we have looked at the detailed description and distribution of negation in Mongsang. We have also seen Mongsang exhibit two types of negation, constituent and sentation negation, which are due to the scope, difference in the scope of the, neg the negation. When negative markers ma and may occur post verbally and negates the whole proposition, it is a sentation negation. Whereas when the negative marker mark occurs immediately after the constituent and negates only that constituent, it is a constituent negation. We have also demonstrated that the negative marker in post verbal position is sentation negation in Mongsa by providing evidence from the licensing of negative polarity items and the interpretation of the quantifier scope. We hope this study will enhance the understanding of sentential negation and constituent negation in Tibetan Burman languages in general and in Northwestern languages within South Central branch of the Tibetan Burman family in particular. And uh, here are my ref the references. And in the end, thank you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.